The next morning, as she stood on the balcony overlooking looking the compound, she noticed Danjuma, the gate man who had been for working for Adebimpe had never paid him much attention until that morning when she noticed him working shirtless, sweat glistening on his muscular chest as he cleaned the compound. A wicked idea formed in her mind. She needed a child. Adebimpe was the envy of many women in Lagos. She was stunning. Her curve spoke without words and her beauty could make any man weak. She was known for her beauty. She had curves that could make any man turn his head. Her stunning beauty and curvaceous figure was the envy of many in the high-class circles of Lagos. Married to Femi, a multi-millionaire hotel tycoon, Adebimpe's life was filled with wealth, luxury and power. But beneath the glittering surface, there was a shadow growing larger by the day. She felt trapped in her marriage. Femi's family, especially his overbearing mother and gossip field sisters, had grown impatient. Femi's mother constantly nagged her, while his sisters whispered behind her back, already planning for Femi to take a second wife. Years had passed, and Adibinpe had not given birth to a child. Every family gathering became unbearable, with subtle jabs and whispers about Femi taking a second wife. A woman without a child is like a tree without roots, her mother-in-law would say. The words stung Adibinpe like needles, especially when her sister-in-laws echoed the sentiment, though the thought of losing her place as the queen of Femi's empire nod at her daily. She couldn't risk another woman taking over. The pressure mounted on her every day, especially from her mother-in-law, who saw her as nothing more than a beautiful trophy without purpose. Adebimpe knew she had to do something, her entire status depended on it. Adebimpe, if you don't give us an heir soon, Femi will have no choice but to take another wife her mother-in-law had said just days ago. The words cut deep and her sister-in-laws, Fonny and Ronke, were already whispering about possible brides for Femi. Enjoying the story? Kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell, it's all free. One evening after her mother-in-law made a snide remark about how time was running out, Adelimpe decided she had to take matters into her own hand. She began suspecting something Femi might be the one with the problem. He had gone for tests before, but he always brushed off the results, telling her not to worry. But Adelimpe couldn't wait any longer. She had discovered this devastating crate after secretly visiting doctors without his knowledge and had undergone tests that confirmed her to be fertile. The bitter truth she couldn't admit was that Femi, for all his wealth and influence, was incapable of fathering a child. Oh, it wasn't her fault after all, but what could she do? She had to protect her marriage status and her wealth. Desperation filled Adebimpe's heart as she sat in her spacious living room, staring out of the large windows of her mansion. She had everything wealth, a luxurious life and a husband who adored her, but none of it would matter if she couldn't produce a child. The pressure was becoming unbearable and Femi's family was already preparing him for a second wife. Desperation led Adibimpe to a dark plan. The next morning, as she stood on the balcony overlooking looking the compound, she noticed Danjuma, the gate man who had been working for them for years. Adebimpe had never paid him much attention until that morning when she noticed him working shirtless, sweat glistening on his muscular chest as he cleaned the compound. He was young, strong and obedient. A wicked idea formed in her mind, she needed a child and and if Femi couldn't give her one, then she would get it another way. Later that night, as her husband traveled for business, she called him into the house under the pretense of fixing a light bulb. Madame, good evening, Danjuma greeted her, bowing slightly. Adibimpe smiled seductively. She stepped closer to him, her eyes glinting with a dangerous allure. As he stood there, she made her move, seducing him, begging him to sleep with her with soft words, promises and offering him a lot of money that will change his life. 
the gate man was sh Madam Patoka I mean we never know she interrupted I'll make sure of it don't worry about that at first Danjuma was reluctant terrified of the consequences but Adi Binpa's beauty curves and desperation broke him Madam no be good idea he said but Adi Binpe was persuasive telling him that nobody would ever know and slowly he fell under her spell it was the beginning of a dangerous secret affair what do you think did Adi Binpe make the right choice to keep her marriage kindly let me know in the comment section the following night Adi Binpe waited for the right moment Femi had traveled for a business meeting again and the house was unusually quiet she wore a silk robe letting it hang loosely over her figure as she walked out to the gate where Danjuma was stationed. From that night on, Adi Binpe would sneak down to Danjuma's quarters every night, begging him to sleep with her. It became a daily routine. Adi Binpe and Danjuma would meet in secret. Night after night, she seduced him, begging him to sleep with her. She had convinced herself that this was the only way. Danjuma, though guilt-ridden, couldn't resist her and the affair continued for months. Months passed and Adebimpe missed her period. Adebimpe began to feel the changes in her body. The morning sickness, the dizziness, it was all there. She took a pregnancy test secret and when the result came back positive, her heart leapt with joy. She had finally done it. The child she had longed for was growing inside her. Finally, she could silence Femi's family. Now she just needed to protect her secret. She knew what she had to do. Danjuma had to go. So Adebimpe carefully framed him for theft. She planted some of Femi's expensive watches in Danjuma's quarters and when she discovered them, she raised an alarm. Femi was furious. How dare you steal from me after all I've done for you? He shouted. Danjuma tried to protest his innocence, but the evidence was overwhelming. Adebimpe played the perfect victim, pretending to be heartbroken. Femi had him thrown out that same night, and Adebimpe was relieved. To Femi, Adebimpe was his loving wife and Danjuma was just a mere gate man. With Danjuma gone, her secret was safe. For now, do you believe Adebimpe's decisions would pay off or is she heading for disaster? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Adebimpe pretended not to know she was pregnant and told Femi she wasn't feeling well and wanted to go to hospital with him. They were overjoyed when the doctor confirmed her pregnancy. Months later, she gave birth to a beautiful daughter. Femi's joy knew no bounds and his family celebrated the arrival of the child. But it wasn't long before the pressure returned. A girl is fine, but we need a son. Who will carry the family name her mother-in-law asked, looking at Adebimpe with disapproval. This time they wanted a son. Adebimpe, feeling the pressure all over again, knew she had to act fast. But how could she get a son? Femi couldn't give her one and Danjuma was gone. That's when she met Kunle. Kunle was the new gate man. He was younger than Danjuma and unlike the first gate man, he had a certain charm about him. Keen complexion and deep voice caught Adebimpe's attention from the day he arrived and soon she began plotting. This time, however, Kunle wasn't as easy to manipulate. He seemed distant and Adebimpe couldn't quite put her finger on it. She watched Kunle from afar, studying him. Something about him seemed different but Adebimpe was too desperate to care. One night she went to his quarters. Kunle, I need to talk to you, she said, her voice smooth as honey. Kunle raised an eyebrow but followed her inside. Adebimpe didn't waste time. She needed another child and Kunle was the perfect candidate. Like with Danjuma, she seduced him and begged him to sleep with her every night. Loving the twists and turns. Share this story with friends and family. As Adebimpe's belly began to swell, Femi's family started to grow suspicious. They whispered behind her back, watching her every move. Her mother-in-law's eyes were always on her and her sister-in-law's were no less subtle. They began to notice things weren't adding up. 
How come she's pregnant again so soon when her husband hardly sits at home? Femi's mother asked. Femi, though thrilled to have another child on the way, started noticing how distant Adebimpe had become. And Kunle, who had once been eager to please, now seemed uneasy. Adebimpe could feel the walls closing in on her. She knew that one wrong step could bring everything crashing down. Adebimpe, always quick to cover her tracks, brushed off their suspicions. But deep down, she knew that this pregnancy was different. Kunle wasn't like Danjuma. He had a secret, and it was only a matter of time before everything came crashing down. What Adebempe didn't know was that Conley was not an ordinary gate man. He was the estranged son of one of family enemies, sent to infiltrate Femi's household. His mission was simply expose the hidden secrets and betrayals in Femi's family, and bring them down. Meanwhile, Femi's mother continued pressuring Adebimpe for a son, unaware that the man she thought was her daughter-in-law's loyal gate man held the key to the family's darkest secrets. Kunle had been playing along with Adebimpe, but he had his own agenda. He began to blackmail her, started making demands, asking for money and favors, and if she didn't comply, he would drop hints to Femi's family, making them even more suspicious. He threatened to expose their affair if she didn't do exactly what he wanted. Adebimpe, now trapped in a web of lies, had no choice but to comply. Now, with Adebimpe pregnant, Kone realized that he had the perfect opportunity to expose her lies and the deep-rooted scandal that could destroy the entire family. Kone's presence became a thorn in Adebimpe's side. She was losing control and she knew it. The family started piecing things together. Femi's mother became more aggressive with her questioning and even Femi, who had always trusted Adebimpe, began to doubt her. The lies were getting harder to manage and Adebimpe felt the walls closing in on her. As Adebimpe's due date approached, the family's suspicions grew stronger. Femi's sister started digging into her past, trying to find any dirt they could use against her. Adebimpe tried to maintain her composure, but her lies were catching up with her. Kunle began blackmailing her, threatening to tell Femi the truth unless she gave him a large sum of money. Desperate, Adebimpe agreed, but she knew she couldn't keep up the charade for long. One evening, Kunle couldn't wait any longer. You think you can play with me? I know about Danjuma, he threatened. Adebimpe's face paled. She had never expected Kunle to find out. What do you want from me? She asked, panic rising in her chest. Kunle smiled slyly, slyly, knowing he had the upper hand, demanding more money. But this time, Femi walked in on their heated exchange. Shocked, he demanded to know what was going on. Adibimpe tried to lie her way out, but Kunle revealed everything. He revealed the truth about Adibimpe's affairs, her manipulation of both Danjuma and himself, and her deceitful pregnancies. Femi was devastated. The woman he had loved, the woman who bore his children, had betrayed him in the worst possible way. Femi was in shock. His mother and sisters were outraged and the family was thrown into turmoil. Everything Adebimpe had worked so hard to protect was falling apart in front of her eyes. Kunle, having fulfilled his mission by uncovering their family secrets with evidence, disappeared. Her once perfect world was now on the verge of crumbling. The lies she had carefully built were beginning to unravel and she didn't know who to trust. After everything that happened, was Adebimpe's plan worth it? Would you have done the same? Curious to see what happens now that Adebimpe's secrets are out. And Kunle's sudden disappearance, could he come back to haunt the family? Watch part two to find out how she deals with the fallout. And if she can salvage anything from the scandal, you won't want to miss the twists and betrayals that follow. Thank you so much for watching and listening to this story. I would like to know the country you are watching from. Please write the name of your country in the comments section.